हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू स्पेक्ट्रम क्लासेस दिस इज आर अनदर वीडियो ऑन द टॉपिक एसिड एंड बेसिक रेट हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू परफॉर्म द वेट टेस्ट फॉर बेसिक रेडिकल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ एसिडिक रेडिकल्स इन द लेबोरेटरी एंड टू प्रिपेयर द वेट टेस्ट फॉर बेसिक रेडिकल्स वी हैव टू फर्स्ट प्रिपेयर द ओरिजिनल सॉल्यूशन सो हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम शोइंग यू द लैब एक्टिविटी फॉर preparing the original solution secondly we are going to discuss how to test the given mixture for presence of basic radicals of different groups and then we are going to see the lab activities related to this original solution and the test for different groups for basic radicals so here i am showing you group of different basic radicals in which these basic radicals are divided and their group reagent in the previous video i have give you the trick how to memorize these group reagents and how to memorize these basic radicals link of those videos i will give in the description now let's start with the original solution so here is the original solution how to prepare this original solution. so first take salt plus water either cold or hot if you get the clear solution then that is called original solution if you don't get clear solution then add dilute hcl whether it is cold or hot to prepare the clear solution so if you get clear solution then that is called original solution not then add further the dilute hno3 either in the cold or hot if you get the clear solution then that is called original solution if you don't get the clear solution then add concentrated hcl to this and uh, heat it or in the cold state it can give the clear solution in this way we can prepare the original solution and some important points which needs to be remembered when you are preparing the original solution that if any of the gas is evolved during preparation of original solution then let it evolve secondly since dilute hcl is the group reagent for group 1 so if your original solution is prepared in dilute hcl then it suggests that the first group is absent if first group is present then it gives the white ppt for that group if original solution prepared in hot water but on standing it or on cooling it it gives the white ppt then it indicates lead chloride is present in the sample because lead chloride is soluble in hot water and insoluble in cold water if original solution prepared in concentrated acids as i have written here concentrated hcl then it should be diluted before performing the wet test for basic ready so these are the some important point how to prepare the original solution and what are the important points which needs to be observed while preparing the original solution so let's start with the lab activity how to prepare the original solution this is sodium carbonate this is calcium carbonate so i am preparing the original solution for these two salts first i have taken the sodium carbonate to this i have added distilled water it shows that it is not clear we are not getting the clear solution in cold water i'm going to heat this you can see sodium carbonate is almost clear in the hot water so sodium carbonate is clear so we can use it as original solution now i have taken the calcium carbonate in another test tube and i'm adding distilled water to this also it is insoluble in water now i am heating this but this calcium carbonate is not clear and now and to this calcium carbonate i am adding dilute hcl here as i told you earlier if gas is evolved while preparing the original solution then let it evolve i again heat this 
and on heating also not clear so we move further to prepare the clear solution now i think original solution is clear to you how it is prepared and here onwards original solution is written as os now i am showing you the wet test for basic radicals using this original solution in the previous cases for acidic radicals we have prepared the water extract and sodium carbonate extract but for basic radicals we have prepared the original solution. now your os is ready it is transparent and clear and to this original solution if it is prepared in water then add dilute hcl which is the group reagent for the group 1 and if you get the precipitate then it suggests you that first group is present if no precipitate is observed it suggests that group 1 is absent if group 1 is absent we are moving to the group 2 whether it is present or absent so to check that to this solution of group 1 like original solution plus dilute hcl if precipitate is not observed then we are taking the same solution and to that solution we are passing h2s gas if in your laboratory the facility for h2s gas is not available uh, we can use sodium sulfide or ammonium sulfide salts in place of this h2s gas if on passing this h2s or on adding na2s to the solution then we get black ppt or yellow ppt then it suggests that group 2 is present so for group 2 we have to test further because it is divided into two groups 2a and 2b so in the 2a we are generally get black ppt and in the 2b we are getting brown yellow orange type of ppts that suggests only but for confirmation whether group 2A is present or group 2B is present we add yellow ammonium sulfide to that if our PPT is soluble then we say group 2B is present so this is how we come to know group 2A and group 2B if PPT is not observed then we say group 2 is absent and we move further for group 3 to check whether group 3 is present or not first we have to boil off the h2s how to boil off the h2s gas you boil the solution which is available in the test tube and check whether all the h2s gas is boiled off or not with the help of lead acetate dipped filter paper here i am showing you the lab activity related to how we can check the boil off of h2s gas after boiling of this H2S gas completely, then we are adding ammonium chloride first and then ammonium hydroxide solution to the solution of group 2. So, this is how the group 3 group reagents are added to this solution. Now, if you get the precipitate, then it suggests that group 3 is present if you don't get the precipitate suggests that group 3 is absent if group 3 is also absent we are moving further for the group 4 for group 4 the group reagent is h2s gas in the presence of ammonium hydroxide which we have added for this group 3 so that is already there so now we are passing h2s gas or we are adding sodium sulfide to this solution if on passing this h2s gas get the precipitate then it suggests that group 4 is present if we don't get the precipitate it suggests that group 4 is again absent if group 4 is also absent then we are moving further so for group 5 again we have to first boil off the h2s gas so here for group 5th the group reagent is ammonium carbonate in the presence of ammonium chloride and now we are adding ammonium chloride and ammonium carbonate the purpose of adding this ammonium chloride is that it has common ion ammonium chloride and ammonium carbonate so ammonium is the common ion and it decreases the 
dissociation of carbonate ion so that metal carbonate will have less ionic product just to precipitate the group 5 metals only not group 6 metal so this i have already discussed in the previous video and the link of that video i will give in the description of for the common ion effect and for the basic concept to determine the acid and base radical so here if you get the precipitate it suggests group 5 is present if you don't get the precipitate then it suggests group 5 is again absent and if it is so it means group 6 is present for group 6 and group 0 we don't have any group D. so in this manner you have to check that which group is present if you come to know which group is present then you can use your salt directly for that group analysis or using their filtrates and their precipitates here i am showing you how we are doing this experiment in this lab active so for group test i have taken aluminium chloride salt which is of third group i have added distilled water to this and here you can see we get the clear solution so we are going to use this as a original solution so for group 1 test we are adding dilute hcl So here you can see no precipitate is it means group 1 is absent now we are adding sodium sulfide to this and you see no precipitate is occurred i am showing you the copper solution in added sodium sulfide it gives the black color now just to boil off the H2S I am taking the lead acetate dipped filter paper and we are just putting it on the mouth of the test tube black color if you don't get black color then it suggests that all H2S is boiled off now we take this solution further now we add next group reagent that is ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide to see gelatinous white ppt it suggests the presence of aluminium we get ppt of different color then we come to know these are gelatinous also so it is clear indication the presence of aluminium so this is how you can go for the test for the presence of that particular group element separately with the test mixture. Now I am going to filter this and we will use the filtrate for group 4 test. To this filtrate I again added the H2S gas for the test of for group. So we again not get any PPT. So it suggests that group 4 is again absent. Here again, boil off of H2S. No black PPT. To this, we are now adding, and to this, we are adding ammonium carbonate for in the presence of ammonium chloride. And here again, we are not getting any PPT. So, suggest the absence of group 5 also. Now, we test separately for group 6 and group 0. So, guys, if you find this video helpful and interesting, please share it with your friends. 
like it and subscribe my channel to all thanks for watching